beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing a 10 minute, highly effective, highly focused glute workout. No knee pain, no squats, no jumping. It's gonna be intense though. We're doing 50 seconds of each exercise with 10 seconds rest. So make sure that you are keeping with me. Listen to the voiceover for instructions. It's gonna be so good, I can't wait. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give them a big thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know and subscribe for more videos. Share this channel with a friend. Also feel free to click the link in the description box to sign up for my home workout program. Without further ado, I shall try transform into a voiceover and we'll get straight into the workout. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into it. Starting with the hip raise. On the mat, hips will be raised. Ready? Feet about hip width, shoulder width apart. And go. So, Squeezing the glutes, lifting the hips up. The goal is to get the hips up so that the knee, the hip and the shoulder are in something of a straight line at the top. Really squeezing at the top, mind to muscle connection, activating those muscle fibers, building the glutes. Making sure your feet are pretty close to your hips actually because that targets the glutes more instead of the hamstrings. Either way, they're both working, both getting a really good workout in. Keep going, squeezing. The more you think about squeezing, the more you intentionally squeeze, the stronger you'll be. Well done, relax, but only quickly, getting straight up onto the bench or sofa, whatever you're using for some hip thrusts. Ready and go. Making sure that you're set up for these correctly, okay? So the way to set up is so that your feet are again around about hip width, shoulder width apart, slightly turned out, um, and you're squeezing with the glutes to lift all the way up, again, getting that body in a straight line. Your chin is kind of tucked into your chest. You're looking straight ahead. Uh, the Whatever you're leaning against, make sure it's stable, by the way. You don't want it pushing back or moving away from you. Um, and you want it round about in the scapula, so round about where the shoulder blades are. That's where you want to be feeling it, okay? So not too high up, not too low down. Squeezing the glutes to come all the way up. Weight through the heels. Intentionally squeezing. Great job, super quick 10 seconds rest. Super quick 10 seconds rest, and then we're coming back up with the hip thrust. And go. So staying really high, we're pulsing this time. Staying up nice and high. Small range of movement, but keep it moving. Squeeze the core, looking straight ahead. Intentionally squeezing the glutes. Can you feel the burn? You've got this, keep going. So this workout is short, but it's intense. I want you to push yourself. Yeah, it's tough, but you're tougher and you can do whatever you put your mind to. You're doing really well, nearly there. Five more seconds. and relax, well done, excellent work. We're coming back down onto the mat for some side bridge glute raises. Ready? And go. So resting the upper body on the forearm, knees bent. What we're doing here is as we squeeze the glutes, we're bringing the hips not only up off the floor, but forward so that again, the hips coming forward so they're in line with the knees and with the shoulders. You're also opening up the knees, pushing them apart like clamshells, using the glutes. This is a really great movement. Keep going. Breathing through, core nice and tight, keeping good form. You can do it. Bringing those hips up and through. Squeezing the glutes. Mm -hmm. 
Well done, really good. Then we're gonna switch over onto the other side. I genuinely think this might be one of my favorite glute workouts yet. It's so targeted and go. So lifting up, squeezing nice and tight. Those knees open up, the hips come up off the floor and forward. So we've got that abduction of the thighs as well as the extension at the hip. Really using those glutes to do what they do best. Keep going, keep pushing. Getting as many reps as you can, but keeping good form with control. Because technique, that's why I do these voiceovers, you know. It's not just to charm you with my weirdness. It is because techers matters. The way that we do stuff really affects the results that we'll get. So yes, getting in reps, but doing them well. Nearly there. And relax, well done, excellent work. Then we're coming onto our hands and knees, for some 45 degree leg raises, okay? You ready? And go. So, it's not quite, the leg is not quite out to the side, it's not quite pointing behind you, it's pointing somewhere in between 45 degrees and we're lifting all the way up, lowering down. This is intense. That's what we're here for. We did not come to play and sing songs. We came to get that booty burn. So keep lifting, you can do it, you're doing so well. All the way up, high up as you can. When you're doing this, I don't want any other part of your body moving. So we're isolating that leg in the movement. Squeeze the core so that you're not arching the lower back, holding it steady and it's just that leg lifting up and down. Keep going, you've got this. Brilliant job. Stretch it out for a quick sec and we're coming back in on the other leg. And go. The leg pointing out to the corner of the mat, lifting it all the way up, lowering it down, controlling the movement. Core nice and tight, arching your lower back will not build a booty, it will just give you back pain. I've said it before and I'll say it again. So keep that core tight. You want a nice neutral spine. It's just that leg that's doing the moving, that glute that's doing the work. Keep going, you've got this. I know it burns, but push through. You might slow down, but you won't stop because you've got this. You're doing so well, keep going. And relax for 10, then we're coming back onto the other leg with some donkey kick pulses. Ready? And go. So, with this one, we're staying up top, so I don't want that knee dropping anywhere below hip height, okay? So we need to keep it high, squeezing at the top. Keep pulsing, breathing through, core tight. That knee is under the hip of the other leg. Hands under shoulders, neutral spine. It's a small movement, but it's an intense and focused one. Really using the glutes to do what they do, which is extend at that hip joint. Keep going, keep it high. Don't let that leg drop down. I know it's tempting, but you've got this. The pain is temporary. But the gains, well, they last. Stretch it out with child's pose and then back in on the other side. And go. So keeping that leg high. We're really working here. You're doing so well. You've got this. Pick that knee up. Keep that lower back still, core tight. Keep pulsing, halfway. Breathing through. Ten more seconds, you can do it. Don't let that knee drop down, keep it high. 
Excellent stuff, amazing. And to finish off this workout, we're doing some prone reverse leg raise and go. So what I want you to do here is try and lift the knees and the thighs up off the ground. So the upper body is just chilling, hands are just kind of supporting you, but they're not doing any of the lifting. You're squeezing the glutes and trying to do like half a Superman basically, and just lift those thighs up as high as you can. It'll be a small range of, mo uh, of motion, yeah, that's fine. It will depend on how flexible you are as well, but we still build those muscles by squeezing them. So really try and lift and hold it. Keep going, lift, lift. Peel those thighs up off the floor as high as you can. You're doing so well. Last few seconds of the entire workout, give it your all. And rest, well done, you did it. Excellent work. How do you feel, a little bit tight? Well, we'll do some stretches to shake it off in just a minute. But take a moment to dance, celebrate yourself for completing this workout. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna reach down towards the toes, stretching out the hamstrings and the calves. Side to side, leaning into where it feels tight. And we'll come back down onto the mat, cross one leg over the other and just hug that thigh into the chest as we twist over the other side, feeling that stretch in the side of the thigh and the glutes. And switch to the other side. Then we're gonna cross one leg on top of the other just pressing that knee out, really feeling the stretch in the glutes as we round over. And switch legs, rounding over again. Well done, great job. Let me know how you found that workout in the comments. I will see you very soon. Bye.